Hi guys, Dr. Jordan Axe, and I want to talk about my favorite subject, and that is gut health. A lot of us are starting to realize how important gut health is to reversing autoimmune diseases, getting our energy back, and thinking more clearly. So it all comes back to the gut. And there's lots of stool, there's lots of testing you can do for the gut, stool analysis testing, and so forth. And I'm gonna tell you some of the key uh, supplements and the key protocols that you need to be aware of so you can make educated decisions when you get those results back or if you're working with another functional medicine doctor you can be well aware of things to take or not to take because a lot of us are, are, are reading oh I need a digestive enzyme or I need this to heal my leaky gut and you're on a thousand products when you don't need to be the first one I want to talk about is hydrochloric acid and when you should take that Hydrochloric acid is needed to break down food in your stomach and to reduce bacterial load in your system. If you have H. pylori in your stomach, you can do that through stool testing. Um, a lot of labs do a breath test now and you can actually test for that. If you're positive, H. pylori will decrease the amount of stomach acid you make. And by taking hydrochloric acid could help, help greatly in reducing the H. pylori. Now, one reason that hydrochloric acid works so well is because if you don't make enough stomach acid, you have too much bacteria in your stomach that moves into the small intestine with too much bacteria, into the large intestine, too much bacteria. It causes a chain reaction of issues in the gut, and that could lead to things like SIBO, small intestine bacterial overgrowth. So again, hydrochloric acid, extremely important. Uh, the next one would be a digestive enzyme so that's if you need those enzymes to break down food and that's what a lot of people take but in a lot of instances that's not what you need um, something like bile to break down fats or lipase to break down fats could be more important but if your liver is not working properly and you know that from the testing you're doing an enzyme could be the way to go but an enzyme is more of a general thing to increase improve overall general health that's not something that i would say i specifically treat but is more general so let's talk about lipase and bile so a lot of people have had their um, gallbladder removed which you need to break down fat so a lot of people that fat is just fermenting and building up causing constipation so a lot of stool tests will show you the amount of unbroken down fat. And if that is positive on your test, lipase or bile is an amazing supplement that could greatly increase your gastrointestinal health. The next product is what I call antimicrobials. There's tons of them out there. Berberin, oil of oregano. One of my favorite supplements is called Microbe X. It actually has a whole blend of antimicrobials. So, a lot of people think they're, they're missing bacteria, which a lot of times is the case, but normally you're missing bacteria because you have too much of the bad bacteria and it's pushing out all the good. So by taking antimicrobials, such as oil of oregano, you can start to kill the bad bacteria and then you can take a probiotic and that can help repopulate the good. So again, antimicrobials are extremely important to killing fungus, yeast, bacteria, and so forth. So those are some of the key things to look at supplement-wise when it comes to the gut. Other stool tests will look for IgA immunoglobulins in your gut lining. And that shows us how long has this, has your gut antibodies been fighting bad bacteria and infections. And if it's high, it means it's acute and it has not been going on that long. Now, if it's low, that means your gut has chronically been fighting these infections and has now become fatigued. And I guarantee you, if that's fatigued, you're probably feeling fatigued. So again, that's your immune system, your immunoglobulins in your gut. And if that is low, one of the best ways to bring that back up is actually high doses of cod liver oil. If it says a teaspoon, I would do a tablespoon, and that can help boost those levels back up. There's also test stool analysis that will show you the inf inflammation in your gut and that's just an overall tool to figure out how much inflammation is in the gut and if that is positive that is that is telling us in fact that inflammation in our gut 
is now systemic. Because if it's in your gut, all of your blood runs through your gut lining and then that's gonna run systemic and cause other autoimmune diseases, etc. So again, there's a lot to the gut, but so those are some of the, the core um, pathologies to look for in the gut and some of the core supplements that you need to start to look at. Again, we don't need to take all of them. We need to figure out what is my deficiency? Am I having all these issues because I just don't make enough hydrochloric acid? That could fix a lot of issues. Or maybe it's because I don't have a gallbladder, I'm not breaking down fat properly and some lipase or bile men could help me start to digest those fats and I could start to rebuild better bacteria in the gut. But again, it's important to look for those patterns, do the right testing, and if need be, work with a functional medicine doctor that can guide you down the proper steps. Awesome, thanks guys.